It is 9 o'clock on Thursday, February 29th, 2024, leap day. And it's been sprinkling a little bit this morning, just enough to kind of moisten the surface, but not really to get it wet. And, well, last night we were trying to... I, I took uh, number 38, was born on the 18th, about 10 days ago, 10 or 11 days ago. Um, found him lying on his side. Um, his legs were stretched out. His back was arched. His head was back. And obviously he was in some sort of pain. So I took him down to the vet. The vet looked at him and said uh, that likely what happened was he got injured somehow. So maybe stepped on or kicked or something. And uh, there wasn't any obvious signs of injury. So maybe it's an internal organ or something like that. Um, so he offered to put him on an IV and warm him up because he was in hypothermia. His body temperature was at 90. Calves are supposed to be at 100 or something like that. I think he's dead now. <clears throat> so we took him home. I put him in a warm bath. We put him under an electric blanket near the fire um, that we used to keep the house warm. And uh, he survived. But... Uh, when we first started warming him up, he would, uh, you know, moo and cry and move a little bit, but not very much. And uh, he held on to life until this morning. So I brought him back to his mom, and I think he's dead now. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, the last video I took yesterday morning... Um, I think I saw him was standing up near his mom, but his head was down and he wasn't moving very much. So he might've been sick in the morning too. I don't know. I didn't get a very good picture of him. And so I just don't know exactly what happened, but, um, you know, this is, uh, what happens out in nature. It's just the way life is. So, um, This isn't uh, obviously the most happy moment of my life, you know. Um, I don't want to lose calves. It's not just the money, but it's not fun to, to watch animals die, especially when they suffer. But that's what it is, right? I think one of the reasons why vegans are vegan is they don't want to see animals hurt right or suffer for their behalf and I agree with that I don't want to hurt or make animals suffer but uh, the unfortunate reality is that we need to eat meat and so we need to get that protein source from somewhere and plants can't provide it for us our bodies just we can't digest it right and the choice is really not whether we eat meat because that's a choice between living and dying but the choice is how we eat meat Animals will be born and they will die. That's what they do. That's nature. Things are born, things die. And if they die pointlessly in vain, then, you know, there's kind of no point to living in the first place, was there? At least with the animals that we raise on this farm, I know that it's, it's going to a good cause, sustaining human life. Right, maybe you disagree with that. I, I doubt you do. If animal life is good, then human life is good too, at least, right? And uh, that's that's a good, I guess that's a good thing, you know, that um, these animals aren't just living and dying for no reason, that they're actually doing something good. And um, the other nice thing about these animals in particular is the way that I'm grazing them is, why are you so cold, buddy? Are you scared of the fence? Get, get away from the fence. Come on. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, get away from the fence. 
Anyway, is that your calf, number 21? <laughs> but uh, the, the nice thing about this operation, and one of the reasons why I'm doing this at all, is uh, the regenerative aspects of rotational grazing. Um, the goal isn't just to, you know, get a couple stakes out of everything here. <laughs> the goal is to regenerate the soil and make it create more forage and more life, not just for cows and sheep, but for all the animals that depend on this. Uh, some people that are doing this, they're actually planting native grasses and trying to restore the prairie. I don't think I'm going to go that far, at least not yet. Um, I think the prairie was a great system when we had millions of buffalo roaming around here. But uh, it's different now. That's not going to work. You know, that's not going to meet our needs or the needs of the animals. So this regenerative techniques, I'm trying to find a way to grow animals with as little inputs as possible to sunlight, rainwater, and carbon dioxide in the air. And um, at the same token, I'm trying to produce a protein that is extremely healthy for you. Uh, living soil produces living plants that are healthy, that have the full range of nutrients that they're supposed to have. And cattle are meant to graze on that sort of forage. And in so doing, they'll have the full range of nutrients that they're supposed to have. And when we eat the animals that are uh, grazing on such pastures, then we'll have the full range of nutrients that we're supposed to have and everybody can be healthy and happy. I think that's a large part of this too, is uh, in between their birth and their slaughter, uh, their eventual death, um, they can be happy. They can fulfill the measure of their creation. They can do what cows are supposed to do. They can enjoy everything cows are supposed to enjoy. Um, cows are social animals. They really like to be around other cows. They do. Um, <coughs> uh, <laughs> you know, it's quite a bit different than bears, aren't they? You know, bears don't like each other. Cows like each other. Cows prefer to be with each other. And I can't imagine a happier cow than a cow out on pasture with other cows eating grass, uh, drinking fresh water, and uh, watching their calves get born and grow up, you know. It just doesn't get better than that. Did I tag this calf? I did not. Is this your calf, Red? Did you give me a new calf? <laughs> you know, I, I pride myself on checking before I start filming, but it seems these calves always surprise me. <laughs> I could have sworn I was looking at Red. I'm like, oh, the calf is ready any moment. What a beautiful calf. Look at the pattern on his head, or her head, I don't know. Nice wide body, bright red nose. What a beautiful calf, Red. Red, you outdid yourself again. And look at that bag, full of milk, full of milk. So I'm gonna tag this calf. He'll be number 43, or she, I'm not sure what it is yet. But, uh, so, yeah, cycle of life continues, you know. If you like babies, you have to like funerals too. So have a great day, everybody. Take care and bye-bye.